Welcome to Digital Waypoint. My name is Doug and I'll be doing an unboxing and first impression of the Moto X Pure Edition. Kind of like the box, it matches my maker mat. Anyway though, it's rocking a Snapdragon 808 processor with 3 gigs of RAM and options of 16, 32, or 64 gigs of storage with micro SD support. It's housing a 5.7 inch 1440p IPS display with a 3000 mAh battery. This year's Moto X has a best-in-class 21 megapixel rear camera and 5 megapixel front camera with wide-angle lens and front-facing flash. It also has front-facing stereo speakers and my Moto X is a white with silver metal frame and bamboo back variant as you see before you. Looks kind of nice I think. Also in the box comes with the documentation and here you will see stuff like you know quick start guide the manual and the warranty. It's good to just keep that in the box just in case you need it later. Also comes with a Motorola branded SIM ejector tool. It's kind of nice to have that included. And then underneath this Moto X Pure Edition sheet you can see the free bumper. It's really flimsy. I would just throw it away. And then here is the Turbo Power Quick Charger. As you can see here, it is connected to the wall wart, which kind of sucks, but at least it's included in the box. All right, now that concludes my unboxing of the Moto X Pure Edition. So now I'll do a tour of the Moto X. As you can tell, it still has the Motorola dimple in the center, yet it's significantly smaller. It has that new metal trim. And instead of having that circular ring flash like on the Moto X 2014 and Nexus 6, it has a dual LED flash. The 21 megapixel rear facing camera and the same cutout for the microphone. On the bottom, it houses a micro USB port and it's in the upward position opposed to the backwards position on the Nexus 6. There is nothing on the left hand side. On the top, it has the headphone jack in the center and the SIM slot next to it. I'll grab the SIM injector tool and I'll show you the SIM slot because it's not only the location where you're going to be holding your SIM card, but on the other side, it also holds the micro SD card, which is handy if you opted for a 16 gigabit model like I have. And on the right side is the same volume rocker and texturized power button. I'll overlay some B-roll in case you'd like to see it a little bit closer. Now on the front of the Moto X is the same front facing stereo speakers found on the Nexus 6. It has the Moto Active sensors for notifications and the newly introduced front facing flash. So that concludes my walkthrough of the Moto X Pure Edition. Now I'll begin my first impression with a brief comparison. As you may tell the Moto X Pure Edition is on the left the iPhone 6 Plus is in the middle and the Galaxy S6 is on the right. Now these are the most current smartphones I could snag and they're pretty current. Um, I'll start with the Moto X and the iPhone. In terms of depth, the Moto X is about 5 millimeters thicker. In terms of height, the iPhone 6 Plus is about 5 millimeters taller. In terms of width, uh, let me flip around. Uh, the iPhone 6 Plus is about one millimeter wider. And in terms of weight in the hand, uh, I can maybe tell it's maybe 10 gram different, the Moto X being a little heavier. Now between the Moto X and Galaxy S6, in terms of depth, the Moto X is about five millimeters thicker as well. The Moto X is about one centimeter taller. Uh, the Moto X is about five millimeters wider. And in terms of weight in the hand, I probably say it's about you know, 40 grams heavier for the Moto X. Motorola did a great job managing the screen real estate well for this 5.7 inch display at the reported 76% screen ratio. It fits in the hand much better than I thought it would, but I'll have to test it more in the field to determine if I can comfortably use it one-handed. My guess is that it won't, but it's more manageable than that of a Nexus 6. The camera is way better, but I'm wary to say it really is best in class. 
it looks like it'll compete with the likes of the Note 5 and now iPhone 6s, but it'll likely fall short. Again, that's something I'll have to test out. Thanks for watching the first official video from Digital Waypoint, which is my digital waypoint for business, technology, and entertainment. If you liked it, rate and subscribe. I'll be posting more videos of my experience with Project Fi on the